Hey folks, thanks for joining me here on KY4.com. It is your Thursday update and it's been an interesting day of weather so far. That big thunderstorm complex that we talked about yesterday, it actually jogged more easterly during the overnight so it impacted more of the central northern Ohio Valley and into the mid-Atlantic during the morning hours. But as we talked about yesterday as well, on the tail end of it, we did see a squall line of thunderstorms develop early this morning across the southeastern part of Indiana and then fan out across central and eastern Kentucky. As it rolled through the bluegrass region, boy, it really kicked up some very, very strong winds. A number of reports of wind damage across the area, numerous severe thunderstorm warnings, but the mainly just tree damage, some power outages in spots. So this thing really packing a punch. That was right on the leading edge of the main surface cold front that will continue to slide eastward as we go into Thursday afternoon. What that's going to mean is some improved weather. So it looks like the worst of it over on Thursday once uh, what we have out into eastern and southern Kentucky finally gets out of the area, hopefully by late in the afternoon. The next couple of days really, really look nice. Friday and Saturday should be fairly pleasant, especially compared to what we had Wednesday when afternoon highs topped out into the low 90s with all that humidity. We're talking upper 70s, mix of clouds and sunshine on Friday, low 80s on Saturday into Father's Day weekend. Our next system may increase the chances for a few scattered storms, unfortunately, on Father's Day. So if you're kind of hedging your bets here, trying to figure out which way to go as far as the golf game or doing something maybe with Dad outdoors, I think Saturday is going to be a better bet than Sunday. But at least the weather looks good heading into the Father's Day weekend. I'm going to be on the road and headed to the Big Apple, so tomorrow's update We'll come to you from New York City. I'll let you know what's going on up there and, of course, update you with the weather here in the Commonwealth as well. So have a good day, and we will talk to you soon.